This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I already know this is a bad idea, but I haven't wore these yet because they're not broken in yet and I already know I'm gonna get blisters, but I found these in the restroom. They're freaking huge, so fingers crossed that they're actually comfy this time around. We've got some previous battle wounds. I'm not sure if that's TMI, but I mean, I'm so prone to blisters. So if you are too, let me know down in the comments. Okay, y'all, this is the fit for today. I'm wearing this shirt. I actually got it at my first Rose Bowl with Tori. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put it up here in the cards. And then these little necklaces. I actually made this one myself. Some pants I got surprisingly from Ruby Lynn and then these tuck shoes. Hopefully I don't get any blisters. Let's go. just got here. I'm here with Arthur this time. We just parked and they gave us this piece of paper so it looks like to enter the fleet you have to have a mask and proof of being vaccinated. And it looks like prices also went up. So if you want to do the early bird special it's 20 bucks. Anything past 9 a.m. is $10. So this time around I have a budget of $100. Looks like right away $20 is gone. So let's go in and I'm gonna try to keep to the less expensive things because I know Rosebowl can get pretty pricey. So you guys know I'm gonna try to find those $5 bins. If there's $2 bins even better, but let's go see what we can find. But before we get into our little Rose Bowl adventure, I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. I'm super stoked to be working with them. If you haven't heard of them already, they are an all-in-one platform to help build your online presence and run your business. So they can help you with anything from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics. So for the past year, I've been wanting to launch my own website, but gotta admit it, super ashamed of it too. But as a millennial, I like legit suck with technology. So if my phone, my tablet, or like my desktop breaks and Arthur can't fix it, it pretty much stays broken. So I was using other applications to build a website, but because I don't know how to code, I didn't get further than just creating an account. But y'all, Squarespace made it so easy. I literally made my website within two days and they have so many different templates to choose from. So even if you're not that creative like me, they have a whole bunch of options for you. And if there's visually something that you want on your site, I I promise you, Squarespace has a button for it. And I know a lot of you guys are also resellers, or even if you have your small business or you want to use a website for e-commerce purposes, go check out Squarespace because you can really get your business off the ground. And they offer tools like e-commerce templates, like I mentioned earlier, inventory management. So honestly, for my website, all I had to do was just put in my own copy, include my own images. They have a super simple checkout process, which was kind of scary for me just because shipping, I know is always a hassle, but it was, freaking easy on Squarespace. They actually give you a whole bunch of options to choose from. So they have options like creating your own shipping price or a mail carrier will actually create a shipping price depending on the weight and measurements of an item. And then lastly, secure payments. But an important thing for me was just that there was a built-in mobile website. So every design automatically includes a unique mobile experience that matches your overall style of your website. So your content's gonna look good on any device, whether it's your desktop, your tablet, or even your phone. But if you're ready to take your business to the next level, go ahead and visit squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com slash twinnell to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code twinnell but again huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video let's get back to this Rose Bowl haul I just came across six dollars so let's see what we find is where I lay low Trade those late nights For early sunrise So I have time To look in your eyes Come on over And do nothing with me Guys, it's starting to get really hot and we totally went over budget. Look at my bag. Look at this one. It's 
crazy. And I said I wanted to hit up like the two $5 piles, but we just hit up a $10 pile and it was so easy to blow money. So we're just gonna continue looking around and then maybe support some of y'all who are here because we're running into so many of you guys. Because we're gonna cherish this water bottle. It costs us $5.50. But I guess it's worth it because it's hot as hell right now. And do nothing with me. Tell world. Come do nothing with me. Do nothing with me. Do nothing with me. because it's so freaking good. I have to say, Rose was probably my favorite fleet in Los Angeles. They always have such good items and at a really good price too, but okay, I know I said that I was gonna keep a budget of only $100, but I'm so happy that this flea market only happens once a month because oof, it is so dangerous. I ended up spending close to $400. I know that is way 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 above my budget but once you guys see these items you'll understand why i also what the heck was that i was trying to only keep to the five dollar piles but there were so many good ten dollar piles so you can imagine how easily that adds up so let's just get straight to this haul because we got a lot of clothes to go through but i'm just going to show you this one without a try on just because it is very see-through and sheer but this piece is so freaking cute it is a little pink label victoria's secret it's in this pretty lilac color, and then we have this little bow applique right on the front. It does offer a little bit of support with the underwire cups, and then a little flirty moment with the vent here, but I just especially like the floral lace, because let me bring you in a little bit closer, because you can see that it has this like rose detail to it, so I thought it was really feminine and pretty. Okay, let's talk about my other shirt, which is this one here. I'll bring you in a little bit closer, because I am obsessed. Ever since I bought it, I literally have already wore it like, maybe a good eight times so really like it i've kind of been into the very like high neck and then sleeveless silhouette i just think it looks really good especially with layering like this but let me actually come closer so we can see this graphic it's kind of messy and all over the place but i'm pretty sure it just says express over and over again and then cute little blue embellishments and i know it's kind of a simple shirt but it's black has a really classic silhouette so honestly you can't go wrong with it new favorite shirt i absolutely love this one it's mesh again the same type of like cut where it's just a crew neck short sleeves so freaking cute i'll bring you in closer so that you can see it's like totally sheer it has this like print all throughout and then not sure if you can tell but there are little embellishments the only thing is that when i see a really cute piece I get just really in the moment and I don't really pay attention if there's any flaws or damages to it. So when I got home and actually tried it on, I kind of found out that I think someone tried to alter it and not sure if you can tell, but it's in the armpit. So this one, perfectly fine, gives enough like room for my armpit to breathe, but this one is way, way up in my armpit and looks like they are probably trying to make it a bit smaller. So not sure if I can fix that myself or whether I'm gonna have to spend more money at the tailor, which I kind of found out the hard way that the tailor here in downtown Los Angeles is expensive. So I think before I take it in, I kind of just want to wear it out and see if it actually bothers me or whether I can just get used to it. But I mean, if I didn't tell you guys that, would you know that it's kind of off? I don't think so, right? Up next is this shirt here. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so dang feminine. Kind of just reminds me of how when I was doing mystery bundles, a lot of the things that people did not want were three-fourth length sleeves. And I don't know why. 
why. I think they look so dang pretty. But something that all of these shirts that I've showed you so far have in common are the embellishments. So freaking cute. But this one for sure is going to be staying in my closet just because I love the contrast stitching that it has. Really feminine scoop neck. The sleeves, you already know. And I don't really have a lot of blue in my wardrobe. Or just like a lot of shirts that go with this skirt, to be honest. So I'm going to be keeping this one. But everything else is going to be on my site. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. But we do have a few fails in this haul. Like this top. I don't know why I got this top. Like this color just isn't me. The silhouette isn't really me either. I feel like I probably wore this when I was a preteen. So I don't know why I would want to relive it. But y'all let me know. Do you think this is cute? Because right now I'm just like, Danielle, why did you spend money, willingly spend money to take this home? Oh no. And I mean, I know it's not like terrible because it is sheer. It has like a few aspects that I like. The lettuce edge trimming, the like slight flare sleeves, which is pretty. But also, do you guys see this? Like all that texture, all the pilling to it. I do have a fabric shaver so I can take care of it, but like, why did I spend money on this? I have no idea. Here's the next item, and this is the most expensive item. I ended up spending $40 on it, but it is brand new, which is kind of a big deal for me because I rarely buy myself new things. I usually just stick to thrifted secondhand items, so this was a super exciting purchase for me. But let me bring you in closer. It does have more of like an oversized but crop silhouette, and we have the cable knit construction. Look at these cute little flowers. Come on. And then the contrast trimming we have here, this isn't necessarily a color combo that I would have gone for, but I don't have a lot of neutrals in my wardrobe, so I think it works out perfectly. Surprisingly, I did get a dress, and I know that a lot of the clothes that I pick up can be a little risque, you know, shows a lot of skin, but one of the things that I just cannot be open-minded about is bodycon silhouettes. I feel incredibly uncomfortable right now. The main reason why I got it is because I love the velvet, but also because Y'all, look at these straps. The straps are threaded with these round beads, so this totally yells 90s. But I just feel like on the scale of sexy, this is probably a little too sexy for me. But I mean, I gotta admit, I love the color. It is very cute, probably just not for me. This is my best attempt at trying to nail the subversive, post-apocalyptic type of aesthetic. I absolutely love it. When I saw it on TikTok, I was just like, yes. How do I do that? Because it looks so effortless with all the layering. So I did get this top from Moon. You guys saw her earlier in the clips, but I think it's so freaking cool. I just don't know how to style it. So send me some advice down below in the comments because I feel like it has so much potential. Let me bring you in a bit closer so you can see all of this distressing, the huge vents here on the sleeves, the sheer hem that we have here. So it is borderline Halloween-y, very witchy but I feel like we could do a lot with it. So let me know down in the comments what we can do to make this like TikTok Instagram worthy. So we're finally moving into some skirts now. It has been a minute since I put on like a knee length midi skirt. So really surprised that I actually got two of them. They're both denim. Both have this like very Y2K feel, but this one especially I love because look at the fray detailing. Anything that comes down into a pointed hem, y'all already know has to instantly come home with me. But this one definitely has more of a like a fitted silhouette to it and I'm just not about that. I do have a lot of hips surprisingly so that very like sultry womanly type of sexy I'm not really into but I'll bring you in a little bit closer because we have this like red suede strings on each side. I'm not sure how you're supposed to tie it exactly but we honestly don't have much going on besides a dark wash and then the frayed hem and then my favorite part here let me just bring it up a bit is the contrast stitching which totally sold me. Do you guys see how perfect these pants are, oh, by the way, we're going into pants now. Only three more items left in this haul. So sorry if it's super long, but we're getting through it. These pants are a freaking dream. So I know we don't have a lot going on here, but I love them because they're super high-waisted. And then if I bring you in a little bit closer, you can see that they're actually like snake embossed. So it's not like too simple. They're spruced up just a little. And then they do have just like a classic straight leg to them. I did walk away with a pair of jeans and these are super freaking fun. They're the type of denim that have like a lot of stretch and give so they're really comfortable but the major major focal point of these jeans are the hems here because we have this striped patchwork detail going on but we also have them here on the back patch pockets. These do have more of a mid-rise to them. I'm debating whether I should keep them or not just because I do have a really like eclectic denim collection 
but I just don't feel like I would wear them very often since they are a little bit bigger. So they might just go onto my site. We're down to the last item of this haul. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. But they are these red pants. They're by the brand Watch LA. I know guys, I know they don't look the most flattering right now. And that's because they're actually a size 12. So I have them pinned on me. But when I bring you in a little bit closer to see these details, you'll totally understand why I took them with me. They have this like tonal leopard print to them. So they're super cool, but you can't go wrong with a bold red color. And then these also have a little flare leg to them too. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of my Rose Bowl Flea Haul. If you liked any of the pieces, let me know in the comments down below. If you have not been to Rose Bowl Flea yet, I hope you take this as a message to go and check it out. It's honestly my favorite flea, and yes, it can get pretty expensive, but you can still have a budget of like $20, $30 and walk out with like three, four items. The only thing that does get pretty expensive is the early bird admission, but you know what? It's totally worth it because at least you can get dibs, but also bring your own snacks and water because paying $5 for a bottle of water honestly broke me knowing that you could get like a whole case of aquafina for five bucks i was just like what a freaking ripoff but if you did like any of the items for yourself i probably already have them listed on my site at twinl.com so go check it out also a huge thank you to squarespace for making this launch of my site even possible y'all made it so easy so if you're ready to get your business off the ground guys go visit squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com slash twinl to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain using code TWINL. As always guys, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!